that if you get the pick. My, my point is that if you got the long change, what difference does it make if you're... I don't think there's a wrong choice to make, but they want this one, and we're going to go middle stat and steal. The U.S. has control of the puck. Middle stat with three assists. Swings back to pick it up. Now the tournament point leader. Up ahead for Kachuk. You see the Fox, middle stat, and Kachuk are all college players not used to three-on-three -three overtime. Mette, an NHL player, with two junior players, Steele and Cairo. In comes Steele. Dan Steele pivots back in the corner, being shadowed there by Fox, plays it back down to Kairou. Kairou works off middle stat, shooting it to Steele, and Adam Kachuk has it back for Team USA. And Kachuk drops it back for Fox. That's center ice, here's middle stat with it. And over the boards is Perunovic for Team USA. Each team onto their second group of three. Perunovic for Joey Anderson. In with Kaling. Anderson works his way in, being shadowed by Dubé, plays it back. Perunovic throws it towards the goal, chipped on by Anderson, and Hart stops that. A little confusion just for a second inside the Canadian blue line, and Joey Anderson had a clean lane. But the puck's going to deflect Thomas and Dubé get tied up just for a moment. Dubé loses the edge as he turns. Anderson's in clean, but the puck hits his stick and bounces to Carter Hart. Taylor to take the draw against Thomas. Wins it back to Perunovic, but his pass skipped away from Joey Anderson. And there's Perunovic back with it. Formanson, forced to drop it back to Anderson. Joey Anderson for Paling. Paling drops it back for Perunovic. And now Paling, knocked down there by Timmons. But Bean, rather, and Canada's got a break. Bean, up at the Formanson, back to Bean. The puck skipped away from him. Bean plays it back for Thomas, and it skipped over his stick and back down the ice. And don't forget, at the 2.30 mark, play will be stopped, and the teams will switch in. Thomas hooks it back around for Mete. Mete, long lead pass, kicked in by Thomas. Samberg squeezed out ahead. It was knocked down for a moment by Formanson. And now Norris leaves it there for Hughes. Quinn Hughes up to Samberg. That pass misfired. And now it skips down to Hart. Banks it around for Mete. Second remaining in the first half of the overtime. Mete works in. Throws it back. And Batherson on it. And now play is called. As we reach the two and a half minute mark. And now they'll switch hands. Well, that's a tough one. You finally get possession of the puck. You've got something going. And the horn goes off. It's in two on one. It's going to get a little bit too much air under this. And it skips right when it gets to Jake Bean. Probably the best opportunity of the overtime. Formanton's puck is going to bounce and go wobble right away. It doesn't land flat. And Bean can just try to direct it, but it bounces over his stick. If you can make a pass land flat today, congratulations. And a little scrape. And by the way, the attendance, 44,592, a World Junior Championship record. like everybody's having fun. Attendance has been an issue in this tournament thus far. Yeah, this is the first good news for the tournament, I would say, Gord, the way the games have been attended indoors in Buffalo and in particular in the big building. But out here, I would say this is this has been a pretty darn good afternoon. And of course, up the round robin against Denmark tomorrow. The United States has the Finns on Sunday. Today, Russia beat Belarus. So another straight here. You can see Keeper Bellows in an overtime. You see him on the ice now. He's I wonder if he was coming out in the next grouping of players. 
Bellows goal got the U.S. back to 2-1. His slapper beat Carter Hart. The first to three assists for Casey Middlestad. After 34 and 20 in favor of Team USA, and now a long change for the two teams. The last half of the OT. And some more ice repairs being done at the U.S. blue line. Not been very much of that today. No. Nope. Give a shout out to the crew here at New Era Field that really scrambled to get things ready. Stan Mikowski, the VP of Arena Ops at the Key Bank Arena, was also overseeing the facility here. And they've really done a number. It has not been easy. The ice was called tour two days ago. Canada, when Canada practice, they had cones all over it. To, there was a couple of spots they wanted to be careful around. Otters are trying to stay loose. No easy feet now with these long delays. That problem spot. They've been at this one spot back behind where Jake Ottinger is, which is at the far end from what we see there. That spot they've worked on a couple of times. with Alexander Susev from Russia doing his best here. Likely conditions he has not faced before. Meanwhile, Brittany Kachuk is walking out to Aussie Busborn. Lip syncing. He's a live wire. He's also a very good player. I've, I've not seen him live until this tournament and very impressed. He's, like all the Kachucks, he's very strong on the wall, but he's got soft hands, makes really good decisions with the puck. He's a good passer. Well, looking forward for Team USA, you got Logan Brown out, Will Lockwood down today. Canada went through this with their defense down to 5D against Slovakia. Now Brown went down with a lower body injury early and didn't return yesterday, so his prospects don't look great. This is what happened earlier. This was same Simmons spot. Stepped in that rut behind the net. And then Joey Anderson did. And not to put too fine a point on it, but there's millions of dollars for the hockey players out here. These are first round picks. You know, I mean the safety of the players is it's supposed to be paramount at home, oh my gosh. And uh, we won't worry about their safety. No, they're, they're, on, they're on their own. They're well oiled. And so you you have to slow down at times. And as I said earlier, I, you know, when the Comtois penalty was the, the most dangerous three feet in the rink or all the way around, you just have to pay attention. Can't even think at any point that's a decent idea. So the U.S. went back to back Slovakia last night to today. Canada goes back to back into Denmark tomorrow. And the Canadians can clinch first place with a regulation win. Hey, here's another thing. We're talking about all the people that do all this hard work behind the scenes. So the trainers are going to have to pack up the gear, load up the trucks, take it back to the rink, thaw it, dry it, yeah. get it ready for tomorrow. They work hard, those guys. And they're volunteers. All right, so they've fixed the ice or fixed it as best, fixed it as best they can. And we're ready for the second half of three on three out. And the face off in the American zone. And it's the first six players that were on the ice are back in this rotation. Fox, Kachuk, Middlestat, Steele, Kairou, Plague. Plague's played a ton this evening and this afternoon. Well, the doors are closed, and here we go. Steele for the faceoff. 
and wins it cleanly back to Clay. Clay to Cairo. Pass it back to Clay with a hard shot. It was off the glass. Down to the sideboard. Picked up by Cairo. Now Cairo winds his way in a long wrist shot. Ollinger saved. Loose puck in front. Scooped up. And the puck kept in line as Kachuk couldn't clear it out. Cairo centers it. Sheriff Angle shot fired wide there by Steele. And now Clay stays on it. Plays it back in the corner for Steele. Good pressure by Canada in the overtime. Steele. Back for Clay, and it bounced off his stick and back to center. And here's where that long change comes into play. The U.S. can't change. They're the defenders. Canada could, but they're on the attack again. In comes Steele with it now. Moves around middle stat. Steele. Slides it back to Clay with a long wrist shot. Ottinger makes the glove save and hangs on. Brady Kachuk's going to make a mistake here. Turn the puck over, and Jordan cairo has got a little bit of a lane. He throws it across to Steele, and Steele hits the side of the post behind Ottinger. Kairou's trying to get that thing flat, and you see Clegg step over the puck and let it go across to Steele. Face off is won by Kalen. And Brumich plays it around. Don't know Keeper Bellows in the overtime for Team USA as Paling works in. Rolls wide of the goal as Hart kicked that away. Dubé. Moves it ahead. And brought in now by Thomas. Rings it around. Pitching up with Vete to keep it alive as Canada is changing. Dubé goes off. And Paling spins back. Montreal first rounder back for Perunovic. And we've got one minute to go in the overtime. Yamamoto. Slides it. Bellows is on now. Bellows shoots. Kicked away by Hart. Bellows back on. Wrap around. Try. Hart's down. He makes the save. Well, we talked a couple of times that Bellows hadn't been on the ice yet. They jump on. There's a puck that bounces off the boards, and Yamamoto's going to literally bounce it across the... Bellows, whose first shot is deflected, but stopped by Hartney. Going to ring the second one around and hits the skate at Taylor Radish. Oh, it's actually the goal stick of Hart and come back, and he's able to cover it up. In the Canadian zone, Middlestad back out there with Kachuk. And now a discussion about a late change. Here, Sandberg will come on for Fox. Canada is the home team and has the last change in this game. Steele for the draw against Middlestad. And Steele gets tossed. Now Radish. And Middlestad won the faceoff. Back to Sandberg. Long shot. Stopped easily by Hart. Now Kachuk with it. Brady Kachuk. Feeds it back to Middlestad. Middlestad holds. Being shot there by Mete. What a dangle there by Middlestad. Again, Mete stays with him. Fox driving it, kicks that pass, shoots and Hart knocked that away. What a feed again from Middlestad. Fox on it, steps around Steele, drops it back for Middlestad. Works in on Mete, drops it back for Kachuk. Puts it back to Middlestad, time winding down in the overtime. Middlestad winds it, holds and shoots in a leg, bouncing puck in front. And this game is going to go to a shootout. Busting it at the horn. Was Radish for Canada. And now, a great chance there. Turned away by Hart. The shootout is next. The 2018 IIHF World Junior Hockey Championship from Buffalo, New York is brought to you by Esso. The Esso brand has fueled Canada's love of hockey for over.